love my hair, think it looks great, it feels amazing. One thing about these products, my hair feels amazing. My channel, my name is Rickens, aka Rickens. <laughs> and today, um, I'm doing a twist out with NP hair. I just woke up, so I'm out of business. Um, I'm gonna be using, well, I'm gonna, I'm taking, I'm gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be a mess a little bit. I'm already taking it down because I have to go really soon, so I've already started taking it down. I am, I used the Comeback Kid as a leave-in treatment, or as just a leave-in basically. I used the Home Curl Defining Cream. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm taking these down right now. So, and I've already started, so we're just gonna take some of these down together. And the definition looks really good. Um, my hair feels incredible, and you can already see my hair is kind of like pre-separating itself, which is fire. It's just gonna make um, separating my hair a lot easier for me because if you know me, I separate my hair a lot, like to pieces. And also, um, I've been going to the gym a little bit more lately. What? I know, <laughs> but. I've been sweating a lot. I've been sweating in my hair a lot, so these actually held up a lot better than I thought they would, which is why, which also makes me really happy. So we're gonna see, right? I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna separate on camera, because I know I can do it faster if nobody's looking at me. <laughs> but yeah, the definition is fire, y'all. First of all, I'm excited to separate it, yeah. Separating is going to be very easy. Um, I'm going to separate and then I'm going to stretch. Probably. No, I'm definitely going to stretch. I don't know what I'm talking about. Probably. I'm absolutely going to stretch. I did add an oil for a little bit of shine. The aloe vera with agave nectar curls defined aloe vera oil by Chi. I usually use this when I'm blowing out my hair. I was gonna use my, like, the oil that I made, but I just didn't feel like, that oil is a little bit heavy, and it smelled like peppermint, and I didn't wanna use that with the scent of the, of Fenty hair. I didn't wanna mix those two um, smells, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna, ooh. I'm just gonna use this instead. And it's also, it's an amazing oil. I do wanna get like a bigger bottle of it. I just, because I love it so much, I bought like a million little, like tiny ones. But I do wanna get like a big one. I tried to go for like a side part. So we're gonna see how that works when I am like stretching and stuff. The thing that I hate, this is the thing, right? I, Seeing what my hair looks like right now with these twists, I wanted to do mini twists, but my hair is just, my hair looks like it's thick, but it's not. And so whenever I do a twist out or something, I'm always humbled. I'm humbled immediately. And so like doing these twists, I try to do smaller twists so I can get a little bit more definition. And... <laughs> And I just don't see mini twists being a good idea. I don't know, I don't know. I might try it anyway just to see, but I don't know. But anyways, y'all, my hair looks good. My hair, the definition is crazy. I'm excited to separate this and fluff and do all the things that I normally do. Um, I'm not gonna separate on camera, I'm not. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I am going to stretch my hair in like a second. So I'm gonna say, separates like butter. However, I don't know how long the definition is gonna actually last in my hair. Like the definition is there. And like for me, with somebody who has technically thinner hair, I like to over separate just because I need the volume to make my hair look fuller. But I think this is gonna be like a trust the process kind of thing where like, 
I'm gonna know how much I actually like my hair once I'm done actually stretching it. Um, I put my hair in these scrunchies because I like to pre-separate my hair into the sections that I'm gonna stretch just so that it's easier for me. I'm not even gonna, I don't even think you can see much definition yet. Ah, eh, eh. <laughs> Which was already my issue with it when I used it for a wash and go. I think it's much better suited to twist outs. But again, like I do have like little flakes falling everywhere, which I'm not, I don't see them in my hair, so I'm not angry, but I used significantly less product than I did when I was doing a wash and go. So like, why are you flaking? You're making me mad. But anyways, I'm gonna stretch out of your bed. All right, so I just stretched my hair. And I, so when I stretch my hair, I like to put it in bands so that it just stays like this because my hair is going to shrink anyway, but it'll shrink a little bit slower if I like let my hair rest in these bands for a while and then I'll stretch it out, blah, 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 I'm not stretch it out, I'll fluff it out. My hair is going to shrink throughout the day regardless, but if I want to start off with a really nice stretch, I will stretch my hair with a blow dryer and then after I stretch it, I will wrap it and um, I'll band it with these scrunchies and I'll leave it in for like, I just until I'm cool, until I'm cooled down because I'll be hot. <laughs> and once I'm hot, my hair's like, oh, moisture. Ooh. So it's going to happen anyway, but it'll happen a little bit slower. Anyways. I'm gonna come back when my hair is done. Uh, and I'm gonna leave. All right, y'all, so um, I haven't, I need to, I still wanna pick my hair, but this is more or less the final result. Um, okay, the thing about twist outs for me is that twist outs for me always just end up looking like wash and goes because of how much I separate. So whenever I do a twist out, I'm just like, I could have just did a wash and go and save my time. Nonetheless, my hair feels really good. My hair looks really good. It is flaking a little bit. I'm not mad at it, but, and it's it's, it's not showing in my hair. Like I think I, I did a close up. It's kind of showing, like you can see like little tiny specks, but it's nothing crazy. But yeah, my hair looks good. The shape looks good. I think I just need to go in with like a pick just to give it a little bit more like, mm. I don't know what that was. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, overall, like, I have way more movement and like, I don't know, like my hair is like really bouncy and like, I, I really, I really like what my hair is giving right now. Like I said, I do want to use a pick a little bit just to see if I can get a little bit, okay. Just to see if I can get a little bit more like, maybe a, li a little bit more lift. Like I especially need it in like the middle. I feel like I need, I need it in the middle back. Um, but yeah, this is what my hair's looking like. It's definition. The definition is there. Um, and like I said, this was always gonna be like a trust the process type of thing. Um, I needed the volume because my hair is thinner. And you know, Movement. I don't know if my hair is shiny. Is my hair shiny? Uh, I don't think my hair is necessarily shiny. My hair is dark though. My hair is dark and like lustrous, but I will say that aloe vera oil, A1. So I'm not gonna, low key, high key, I'm not gonna give it fancy, I'm sorry. <laughs> because my hair wasn't shiny when I used it for a wash and go, so. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, I if you guys have any tips for um, twist outs, please give them to me because I just feel like I don't like I don't like um, you know how some people do twist outs and they literally just separate them and then they leave it alone. I can't do that because then my hair would just look insane. But I don't know how to separate a twist out without it just looking like my hair if I was to do a wash and go. Because I already have tightly coiled hair, it just looks like my hair. You know what I mean? 
Um, but if you have any tips on how to like not make it look like that, <laughs> please let me know because I would love to try this again. Like I said, I use significantly less product, so I could probably do this a good number of times. Just to just to experiment with like sizing of the twists and all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. I usually do bigger uh, twists. I did smaller twists so that I can get more definition, but I feel like with this product, getting definition is really easy. I just don't know how long, again, I don't know how long it's gonna last. I'm pretty sure my wash and go lasted all week, but this is different, and I also used a lot less product. So we'll see. Anyways, I'm talking too much. Love my hair. I think it looks great, it feels amazing. One thing about these products, my hair feels amazing. My hair looks great, my hair feels incredible, which is what I loved about my hair the first time. And using the comeback kit as a leave-in, yes. So, and my hair smells great. I actually like the smell now, y'all. Using the products more and more, every time I use the products, I like the smell more and more. There was nothing wrong with the smell, I just didn't think it was for me, but now that I'm using it more and more, I really like the smell now. I would give this maybe like a, I don't know, like a seven? Like it looks good for me, but like I said, like this almost looks like I did a wash and go, which is the only part that kind of like annoys me personally, but I feel like almost, no, that's not true, my two thousand. I'm, you know, ooh, actually, you know what I'm doing? I'm gonna do it on stretched hair to see if it looks different. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna do it on stretched hair. Cause I think my favorite twist outs have been on stretched hair. There's nothing wrong with this, um, but I feel like to get the result that I, I think I want, I need it to be on stretched hair. So maybe I'll do that next. Okay, right. again, again, I'm talking too much. Um, I'm gonna see y'all later. If you made this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace!